This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Doyle Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering locally to the body of Christ in Dallas and Fort Worth, Texas, sent by God to your house to declare you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, tell us what the gospel is. How that Jesus Christ died for our sins, according to the scripture, he was buried, he rose again the third day, according to the scripture. We have the Lord's upon me. He's anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, sent me to heal the broken heart, preach deliverance to the captives, recover sight to the blind, set at liberty, them that are bruised. Thank God. Amen. Word is not thee. Even in your heart, in your mouth, there's a word of faith, which I preach if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. <coughs> believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. With the heart man believeth unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. There's a power of God unto salvation. To everyone that believeth, to the Jew first, also to the Greek, therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by his faith. I want to welcome everyone to receiving this broadcasts on live stream, Roku, Apple TV, YouTube, or other devices. Thank God. Amen. On my right, co-host, Terry Brown. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. And on my left, co-host, Kathy Davidson. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. And left of Kathy is Apostle, co-host, and the Reese. Good morning. Good morning. Thank God. And on the wire, from Colorado is Kathy Courier. Good morning. Good morning. Thank God. Okay. Are we ready for the boy, my girls? Sure are. Man. Let's put them out here.
God. Amen. Now, God, we have some good news we want to share with the world. But first, I want Kathy Davidson to read why we have this good news that we can share. And it's all written in the Word of God. It's to the glory of God and not to me. Amen. So it's what I left. Katie, is that right? That is right. Mark 10, verse 28. Then Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that has left house or brethren or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels. But he shall receive a hundredfold now in this time houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the world to come eternal life. Amen. Certainly I left what it says, left it all. I own nothing, not one thing. Well, I got some clothes, I guess I own them. But uh, no house, no car, no furniture, no investments, no savings, nothing. Left it all. Trust in the Lord. But Guess what? I believe God, and I pray. I uh, pay attention to what the Word of God says, and I've really done some praying. And a couple of years ago, I really got strong about what I pursued, what I left, and that God owed me a hundred bow, and he owed himself a hundred bow. He owed his word on her bow. That's what he said. So I got $1.2 million given to the ministry. And I didn't want it. I gave it every bit away as God directed. And so to the Spirit, and I reaped to the Spirit. Well, today, got a letter from City House here in Plano, and uh, I want Terry Brown to read it to you. If we can get it on camera, I'd like to, so you can see it, what it says. Can we do that? Uh, yes, they've got it here right now. You got it here now. Yes. And we just received this in the mail. So I want to share with the world what God does through Water of Life Church and Plain Away. On the front, it says, Ring in joy, faith, peace, and warmth this new year. And inside is a nice handwritten note. <clears throat> it says, Dear Pastor Davidson, How can City House ever thank you for the most incredible generosity? You come into the lives of our mission when we you came into the life lives of our mission when we really needed the support the most. Our youth rescue and outreach center has had a nearly thirty percent increase in at risk youth, and your gifts have made it possible for us to invest in the programs and services to help these kids. Please thank everyone for their contributions and caring hearts from all of us at City House, Shay Reynolds, the De Development Director. The City House is a, <clears throat> an organization here in Plano, a nonprofit, that takes care of uh, or helps uh, at-risk youth, that would be preteens and teenagers. They also um, have living quarters that are temporary. They're not an orphanage for permanent dwelling, but temporary quarters for uh, children of all ages, from infants all the way up to age 18, that for one reason or another are separated from their families or from their parents. They might have been taken up by CPS, or the parents may have come on hard times for whatever reason. So for various reasons, uh, and one of the goals, I think this is so beautiful, but one of the primary goals of City House is to 
for these children, to help these children to keep all the siblings of one family together. Amen. Because so often when children are picked up by CPS or families are divided through financial hardships or whatever, uh, you know, children, uh, the different siblings will be sent to different homes, different foster homes for temporary care. But City House will take all of the children of one family and put them together in their house. And they have a, a beautiful large house here in Plano, and they, they, they actually have a section that's the younger children and then a section that's the older children. But um, Anthony and David Kesbright went and toured this home and uh, reported to us that there are many glass walls in the dwelling. And, and the reason for that is so that if a younger child is there and has a teenage older brother sister there, they can, even though they don't live together in the same bedroom quarters, uh, they can see in these wall through the walls that there's their brother, their sister over there, and likewise the older one looking out for the younger ones. They can see, they can see each other. So it's a comfort, and they do a lot of things together. They have rooms where they are all together, but in the certain times when they have to be segregated, um, <clears throat> they can certain walls. Or, or glass or see-through. Is that right, Anthony? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. And anything you want to say about this, you're afraid to do so. Right. Well, it's a nice facility. And in, in fact, what Terry mentioned about the fact that the, uh, the, the, the siblings were able to uh, uh, be together was, in fact, one of the reasons why it expanded into both having the infant as well as the uh, preteen uh, uh, place where, where kids could go. Uh, because they didn't want the family separated. Uh, and, you know, with that became other licensing requirements with the state. And so they had to obtain all of those in order to actually keep all those kids together. The other thing that they provide is um, they, uh, for young adults uh, up to, um, I, I want to say, 24 years old. They have a, a more than one house that is provided by City House where young adults that are, um, and, they, and they start getting uh, some, college education and, uh, and, and, and start in the workforce and learning things that they need, but it's a place for them to stay, and then they are, you know, on their own, really, but with, uh, under, still under the care of City House with, with somebody who uh, provides uh, uh, some adult, you know, guardianship. I think they call it life counseling services because these are uh, young adults that come from a very troubled background and so they're trying to help them get a, a better start for their life and to help teach them some of the basic life skills that many people learn growing up with their parents and they haven't had that opportunity so it's like you say um, and they actually live I believe there's a number of different houses where they live and like there'll be several in a house and they have several of these houses and but they learn to keep keep the house clean, you know, and buy their groceries and pay their bills, and they learn that with the, some supervision, but it's just helping them uh, get a steady start in life that they didn't get from their home life. I love the way that this started because I've seen this when I was a teacher, but this all started with a teacher and a counselor about 30 years ago sure that they saw, and I've seen it, homeless teenagers in high school and nobody knew that they were homeless until one of the teachers noticed that there were students living out of their lockers and they had no place to go and so that's that that's when they purchased the first home for these young teenagers to have dw a dwelling place but have that supervision that parent to teach them how to live on their own and another thing that I just love about this place is because you know, we've, I've seen it, is when that teenager, when they become 18 in the state, they, the, the state will just drop them. And they're kicked out of any foster home and they're just put back on the streets. And what City House does is they will, they will get them the job, they'll help them get the job, but then they will also help them with their first month's rent. Or, or putting their down payment, helping them get started in that apartment when they've left the house so that they're not left alone. 
and they, they will give them the money, they will give them what they need to get started, and roommates, and, and you know, anything that they need, so that the kids have a, a, a strong foundation to start on. And I tell you what, James 1, 27, I'll read this. It says, pure religion and undefiled before God, before God is then the Father, is this, to visit the fatherless, the fatherless, not just orphans, but just the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. And that's what Water of Life, that's what Dole did with a good chunk of this money. Now. Do you want me to tell? What? Not just a minute. Let me tell you, I left it all. God's word is true. This didn't, <clears throat> this didn't come because I didn't have a part in it. You have to be obedient to God and obedient to the Word of God <clears throat> to be a blessing. God said to Abraham, you'll be a blessing to everyone. A blessing. I wasn't looking for this, but God gave it to me. That's simple. So, I end up praying. I get $1.2 million given to Water of Life. I don't want it. I don't need it. No, this operation is funded with faith. Nobody knows what we need. I don't tell them. I don't ask for money. And I'm not going to. I told God, a long time ago, it was written in the Psalms. If he were hungry, he wouldn't ask me. I said, well, if you wouldn't ask me and you were hungry, you wouldn't ask me for food. Don't think I'll ever ask anybody on your behalf for money. Amen. And I've been that way since 1981. Now, let me tell you, as the money came, as it came in, we made one donation of 50000 <coughs> Then there was another amount showed up from the same person, and we gave another fifty. And then there was 100000 came from that person. And guess what? I believe God wanted me to give that, and we gave a total of what, Terry? $200,000. $200,000. It's sort of interesting how this came about because um, <clears throat> when you received this money, uh, you didn't keep any of it for yourself, and you were just listening to the Lord for where he wanted you to give it. And it started coming into your heart about orphans. And you asked us to look to see if there was an orphanage in Plano. And that's sort of how we <clears throat> uh, uh, started looking at City House. And while they're not a pure orphanage in the sense of taking one from birth and raising them all their life, they help so many children, so many. And they've just increased in size, uh, <clears throat> I believe. Do you remember, Anthony? I believe they started in 1980 or 81. It was, it, it was when Water of Life Church was founded. Exactly. The year that you founded Water of Life Church was the same year that these two teachers um, had this idea and went to the city council and, and started talking about, you know, this need. <clears throat> you know and, that God raised up city house, mm -hmm. so Water of Life, could be a blessing to them. Yes, and look at the, the year that the the increase was 30% increase in the at-risk youth. Of course, that would take a lot more funds. Um, that's the year that God sends the money and says, give it to them. Amen. Is that it? Well, you know, they, they, uh, I think it's interesting because, you know, these were teachers and, and a counselor. It was a teacher and a counselor. But they actually have volunteers that drive yes. 
the streets. And they keep their eyes out open because a lot of the homeless that you see, there's a, there's a, good, a good percentage that are teenagers. And the one thing that they're watching out for is if they see these teenagers out on the streets is because of the, um, the sex traffic, trafficking. Mm -hmm. Now, these people are kidnapped. And these people keep their eyes out. And when they see someone, they will you know, approach them and say, we got a place for you to go. We have a place that you can go. And they, they take them in. The, um, I, I laughed. Dole was, we were sitting at the kitchen table the one night that this all came up. And Dole was receiving the money. And he said, I've got I've, you know, to give to the orphans and the widows. And he said, do you know of any orphanage or widow you know, in, in Plano? And I mean, I was like, well, I do know about this place called City House. I'd known about it for a while. And I described it to Dole, and that's when Dole said, let's look into it. And that's, you know, because they, they not only help kids in Plano, but they help in Frisco, where I was at school. I've seen their work up in Frisco in, when I was uh, in the school district, so. Well, and one of the things you said, like, they'll drive around in the mornings, early in the mornings, looking for teenagers that have slept out on the street. But the trouble is, that's the same things the predators do. I've got a place for you. You can come here. I'll help take care of you. So these are people that are skilled knowing what they're doing and how to approach and talk and work with these youth. Mm -hmm. And speaking of volunteers, the, while they do have a paid staff, um, the, I believe the majority of the care of the children is run by volunteers. Mm -hmm. And, of course, there's the screening you know, to be hired on there, but they are staffed 24-7 in the, in the house, and, um, and, but it's largely volunteer, so it's not, you know, a lot of this money is not going to pay people's salaries. It's definitely, uh, you know, a ministry, a, a service driven from the heart, caring for children. Yeah, I want to share something about this, because I've dealt with CPS when I was a teacher, and I've dealt with some of the cases, and it's not pretty. And one of the things I liked about the house, because I've, I've had experience with some of the children, in their bedrooms, and they, you know, they have more than one bed in a room, and, but, but in their bedrooms, there are no closets. And you say, well, that seems silly. But I worked with um, Title I students, which means poverty level. Worked with a lot. Our school was a Title I school, and those closets... You know, they're either punished and put in a closet or that's where they have to sleep or that's where they hide from wickedness. And they made sure that there were no closets. Right. Okay. I want to give thanks to the Father, Jehovah, Amen. and the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, the Lord, and King of Kings. Amen. For the people that started City House, that keep City House running, you, ministering to the people in the streets or on the streets that are homeless, they need somebody to help them, they need somebody to love them. Amen. And this group of people have certainly, as far as I can see, committed their lives to bring that forth in Plano. Amen. And I thank God for them, but more than that, I want to pray for every one of them. Amen. Mercy and grace and love and peace and pros prosperity upon Every one of you. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> Good Lord. I ran down to a burger booth. Hey. <coughs> amen. We ready to praise the Lord or what? Amen. Amen. Goodness sakes. Make a joyful noise and to the glory of the year. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. And make a joyful noise and to the glory of the year. Make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. And make the praise and praise in me. And make the angels ring praise. Be thankful that we live and bless His name. Make a joyful noise and to the glory. I'm
Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world Satan's like a roaring lion Roaming to and fro Seeking whom he may devour The Bible tells me so Many souls have been his prey Caught in some weak hour But God has given us today His overcoming power Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world On that day of Pentecost A mighty rushing wind Blew into the upper room To baptize all of them With a power greater than Anyone had known And I'm so glad we got it too I wanna tell the whole wide world Now tell them with me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world God is greater than the wisest man Greater than the power of sin Greater than the gates of hell Greater than anyone can tell Greater than the richest king Greater than anything Greater, oh greater Greater, yes greater Greater is he that is in me Than he that is in the world Thank you, Father Thank you, Jesus Amen. Thank you, Father Amen. Thank you, Jesus Amen. Thank you, Father Amen. Thank you, Jesus Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Mercy, grace, mercy, grace, mercy, grace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. See you tomorrow. We invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church.